Good morning, everybody. How are you? This is Nancy, the Disorderly Stitcher, and we are getting ready for the Shores of Hawk Run Hollow Sal. Yay! I love these patterns. She has, I don't know how many, what, six or seven maybe? Um, I am working on the map of Hawkrun Hollow. I am working on villages of Hawkrun Hollow, and this one has been calling my name for a while. I don't know why. I don't live in New England, but maybe it's the history teacher in me, and yeah, I don't know. I just love it. Um, so I decided that this was going to be a chart that I'm going to stitch um, over a period of four years. And what inspired me was the Leap Year Sal, 2024-2028. The cool thing about these charts, or this chart in particular, is that it's divided up for you in a way that makes it more manageable. And we can divide it up even further so it's not so overwhelming. All right. So let me explain what I'm doing. I am a, I have learned to be a top left corner starter. Now, if you're a center starter, you can do the same thing dividing up your um, chart. If you're a top right hand starter, if you're a lower, whatever you pick. I mean, the idea was to stick together, but you know what? I'm not going to be so rigid with rules that people don't enjoy it. But anyway, if you notice in the chart, in the package, there is a chart page for each and every block. Excuse me. <coughs> All right. So on that chart, if you look at the top of the box and the left side of the box, just like all charts, there is an arrow on each side indicating the center vertical and the center horizontal. And all you have to do is bring the lines together to the center. Okay. Now I would make a working copy of each page. So you don't draw on the original because if it helps you, you could take those center lines on your working copy and just draw a red line or whatever color stands out to you both ways and then you would have it divided into quarters all right i can't show you the chart i'm not going to show you the chart that would be unfair to the designer because this is a public channel um but what i did was then i had copied the picture copied this picture all right and I drew some lines that would approximate the center. Okay. I'm going to insert that picture here. It's just a guideline. All right. Now, the, the goal is to do one fourth of each block every three months. I think that's pretty doable. And if you notice on the lighthouse block, Okay, which is block number one. You know, that one corner with the sun, there isn't a whole lot there. As you get down on the bottom, yeah, there's a lot more there. All right. What I will probably do is do the border around the box as part of month, as part of the first three months. And then this is where I'm going to start up here in this corner. And I'm just going to treat it like a clock. I'm going to go clockwise. So one, two, three, four. All right. A lot of people are jumping onto this. I think that's fantastic. Some people are a little concerned. I get it. All right. It's overwhelming. And one thing I always tell my students is, you know, you got to feel a little uncomfortable to, to overcome and learn. All right. Now, some people have asked about fabric. I am using, found my little project card. These are project cards I created. Um, based on uh, inspiration from Tiger Lily. So I am using light hazelnut, 40 count. And someone told me, someone commented in the last video that that is by X, XJU Designs. 
I don't know. I don't have a tag on it. Okay. I also, when I pulled my flosses, I am using the DMC. I cannot wait to see somebody do it in silk. Somebody in the group is using silks. That is going to be beautiful. But I didn't have all the DMCs. So when I listed my flosses, um, and when I went through my flosses, I also pulled some color and cotton and weeks and classic color works. Okay. So I have this with me. I also made a working copy of the thread list. Hope you didn't see that. Okay. With my substitutions. The orange highlights just mean that I had them or I didn't have, I don't know what I highlighted, but you know, I'm disorderly, right? Okay. So then when I pulled them, I had to make sure that they worked. Now, a lot of people will do a floss toss. Okay. Now, what is your definition of floss toss? Some people just take their flosses and they plop them down and they're like, oh, look, everything looks good. Yeah, it looks good when you do a entire skein of floss. All right. When I have a questionable floss, that pen's going to roll off the desk. When I have a questionable floss, I will pull one thread apart from the skein. Now, the one that I question is macrame, sort of goldy brown. I don't know if you can see it. And very, very, it's a light beige, I guess. I don't know. Let's, let's go with that. So what I do is I will pull one thread aside because that's what I'm going to end up using. Okay. That's my floss toss. Now, I doubt you can see that. There it is. Now, is it going to show up? I think in the grand picture it will, because if we look at the, um, then, then I go back and I look at the chart. All right. I look at the symbol, um, you know, on each chart, it tells you which one is which. Am I going to use this? Um, I'm substituting macrame for 37.82. It's not in my lighthouse block. So I'll go through. I will find 37.82. Dooby doop doop dooby doo. Dooby doop doop dooby doo. Elevator music. Dooby doop doop dooby 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 doo. Bop doop bop 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 bop. La 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 Hopefully I wrote this down correctly because I'm not seeing it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Um doe skin brown, very light. Okay, so would you believe? that the only place I'm seeing that floss is on the block. Let me find it. Where did it go? With the fish. And I am going to go out on a limb and say that that doe skin brown is the top of that. I'm not worried about it. Okay. If push comes to shove, I could pull something slightly darker when I get there. If I don't like it, I'll change it. Okay. So choose your fabric, choose your threads, silks, you know, it's charted for, um, silks, MPI silks or DMCs. Um, I did see something else in here while I was going through it. I don't know where it went. I don't know. People, anyway, choose what you like. Do what you like. That's the whole goal of this is to do what you like. Do it in small steps. You know, if you decide that, you know, you get to block number three and that's as far as you want to go, then cut your fabric and, and frame that. 
or make it into a long pillow or do something with it. Okay. Um, when we get, you know, to the center, all we're going to do is, you know, divide it. I'm going to divide it in half and then half is three months and the other half is three months. Okay. So some people are starting on leap day. That's fine. February 29th, whatever, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> no pun intended people. Um, some people, you know, if you want to wait till March 1st, because you're a calendar person and that way, you know, from March 1st to June 1st, you're working on the first quarter of block number one, which is the upper left hand corner. All right. Yeah. Believe it or not. I have to think about it when I drive too. Um, so have fun and I cannot wait to see what everybody does. All right. So get ready, get set, stitch. All right. You all have fun. If you have any questions, drop me an email and keep your stitches crossed. Bye.